welcome to Patty's Cakes. So today we're just going to do like a special occasion cake um, and it's going to be a uh, dream catcher. And so I'll let you take over from there. Um, here we have a 9 by 13 cake. It's white today and I came with a 6 inch uh, circle pan here and I came up, it looks like about a half inch. I, I wanted it just to uh, be a little three-dimensional from being just flat. So I'm going to start with uh, coming around the edge um, with our bloops, <laughs> sealing it off. And I have the, the star here. And um, we'll just come around the edge while Daylene works on her feathers. Okay, can I have that paper towel down there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create feathers. And so I found these, um, they're actually cookie cutters and they come in three different sizes, as you can see. And so we're going to work with the small one here. And, whoops, and then to go along with those, they're called impression sheets. And they have um, the, the texture of feathers on it, which I just thought was so cool. So I'm going to use these um, after I get done, because I'm going to do this in fondant. And of course, it came in the three sizes that match this right here. And the other thing that I have, let the right one up here, is this um, cute little silicone thing that has feathers on the inside in different sizes too that already has the texture and you can just push the fondant inside of it. So that is what I'm going to be playing with today. And then of course the next thing I'll be cutting out some letters and these are actually all cookie cutters out of one of those cool 100 and 101 cookie deals. So I took all the letters out of it and stuff and so that's um, and so I could keep it separate because we definitely use those too for fondant and that type of stuff. So I'm going to start rolling out. We're going to do a gorgeous teal. We're going to make our feathers teal. And I'm just about finished here with going around the edge. And with this cake, again, we... Um, after baking and it cooled off, we put a crumb coat on it. And then a final coat of this real pale yellow. We wanted something, a background that would show the, I've, I've got pan here. We wanted to get close to a, a buckskin color. And so I have here, um, large round tip, not the largest they make, but a pretty good size here. I'm going to come around the edge of this um, six, inch, six inch circle, <laughs> <laughs> say it 10 times, <laughs> and then I'm going to be changing to smaller ones. I have uh, one that I will come with uh, with a little string work on the inside and then a larger one I will come with string on the outside that Daylene can, can attach her beads and her feathers to. So I'm going to attempt to go around this circle with this. Okay. Are you with scared? my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start cutting Sometimes these it gets a little first. tricky to be going in a circle. Let me see now. Let me get closer to it. I'm gonna go very close to it. I don't want to break it, and I don't want to go off of the edge. Okay. 
Okay, I'm doing some more with this. And I want to stay in the circle. Good, good job, Mom. Okay. There. Now I will change the tip. Okay, so now <clears throat> I've got them cut out. So um, you can flip. It actually goes through on both sides. So if you wanted the, the texture, if you were going to make like a hanging one or something, so that you have that texture, you can do it on both sides. And um, I'm just going to do the one side. And I'm just going to lay it on the impression mat. Grab this little guy. And roll it out. Over the top of it. You can't quite, can't quite see it, I don't think, but it has that cool impression of the feathers. Let's see how it goes this way. But they do move. And all I'm doing is pressing it in there, using the roller to get a little bit of pressure to get that um, design in it. Yeah, that one's a little better like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it going a couple different directions. You want to use the roller, you can always push it down with your fingers too, because unfortunately rolling it out does stretch it out too. So yeah, I like that. I'll just press, I like it better. So I'm going to just take this paintbrush and kind of dust inside of that. I suppose I probably could have just moved it, but so it doesn't mm -hmm. stick. Mm -hmm. And then if you wanted to, <coughs> like, feather it out, Further, you could like clip into mm -hmm. it and um, and get that spray look to it. And I really, I, I've been starting to become a collector of um, impression mats. I don't know why they just are so much fun to work with. I know, um, because you can actually, on some of these, like these are pretty light, but on some of them you can actually, um, you know, press against the side of your cake. And, and these will probably be a lot more pronounced. I'm going to try these. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to dust it so my fondant doesn't stick in there. Hopefully, it doesn't stick in there. And it doesn't take much. And then you're doing is squishing it inside the mold. I'm changing to the third one now. Oh, cool. And I'll come off the, the side. That little tiny end I'm trying to get squished in there. 
You can always squish it around after you got it, but this this one is definitely more pronounced. It's just gorgeous. I really like how those ones come out. They just seem to be more pronounced. So this is actually my first time playing with the um, these other ones here, but I noticed this has definitely got more um, definition with with this this particular one. So we put a little powdered sugar on there, so it doesn't stick so bad. I'm going to work it down to the end here. about the silicone mold, these silicone molds is they're so flexible so then all you got to do is just turn them and then you can then they just pop out way easier. Take that little bit of that side on. They're just gorgeous. Okay so I got two going that direction so I'm going to switch and go to the other side. Oh. Over there, so oh. are you. <laughs> are you in your own little world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just zoned out. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready to, we're going to just drop off at the edge with this middle one. Mm -hmm. And then these two will be a little bit up, and then these will be higher. There you go, right there. Oh. And then I'm making oh, where? two the opposites of those. Okay, the, the, did you have uh, the, those balls over there? Oh. <laughs> You're making opposite ones of these? Yes, going the opposite direction. Okay. Trim that up a little bit. You can use a little knife for what you need to kind of trim the edge if you go over, which of course I did when I overflowed it. You can see it does not take much because um, I'm kind of squishing the top because that is so skinny right there to get the stem. Um, but it doesn't take much bonding at all to um, to fill those in. So, or like I said, you could use gum paste. And I thought it was going to be ahead of you. Hmm? <laughs> I said, you're waiting for me. I said, in here, I thought it was going to be ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try again. Mm -hmm. 
smaller ones or mm, um let's see i'm gonna use uh, one, one two, three, four, five, six. do i have six one two three four five six yeah i think we're okay here cool okay, okay so now i'm gonna play with the letters i just don't think that's gonna be okay i'm gonna Switch up colors and uh, letters because I don't think there's enough here to get them all down. Oops, found one. These are so soft. These feathers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to do these and. Mm -hmm. Mess out of them. Mm -hmm. Oops. Do you think I should come around here with just some little dots? Just some mean? little, just some little, oh, like this. On the edge. Just yeah, just like this. Yeah. Add a little color to it. And the, because they're, these are designed for thicker cookies, I don't have uh, some of these, they don't have centers, so you just got to kind of cut them out. Unless you made your fondant really thick, but I don't really care for thick fondant, so. And then you just kind of manipulate it around and smooth your edges. Daily Noise has these on hand. They're chocolate filled. And she's usually has the pink and purples. And, but we're kind of out of teal right now. But these other colors are pretty in here. Okay, so you'll have to guess what some of these are, Mom. What some of the letters are. Mm -hmm. 
That just looks funny. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, they're soft. Yeah, they're pretty flexible right now. Vacation cakes just they're great I hope you're some of you are beginning to do this at home for the little occasions that come up I didn't think I would have enough fondant, but surprisingly, it goes a long way. Oops. Sure, a little lip on that L, isn't it? Yeah, I know it is. It's really small. Okay, we're just about narrowing down here to the end, so I need to finish this up, Miss Patty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just about there. Mm There you go. One more. Oh, and then I just did my uh, dough. Okay. Quickly. So our um, <clears throat> nice print friendly film person, Frank, has been is going to be retiring, so there you go. Thank you so Good luck, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so that will do it for Patty's Cakes, and we thank you for joining us. Good thank luck, you. Frank. <laughs> <laughs>